Hello everyone, welcome to you on Thin Future Academy channel. Today we are going to learn about basic Gantt chart with scatter graph option. It is very easy, you will see it and you will enjoy it. Let us begin. You can see here, uh, this is chart which I prepared for you just for your de demonstration. Now, this is my data and we will start from the scratch and we will see that how we can prepare this chart. I am removing all the information here and I will guide you the rest of the process. See here now, my all information is available. Uh, just highlight the start date, hold the control key and select task has done. Now, go to insert scattered chart this is the scatter chart. Now, what you can see it here, I will make uh, more clarity in the, okay. Here you can see the gap is there, 1, 2, 3 is missing and uh, it is 2, 4, 6 and 8. What you can do, just come to here this option and here you will find x axis options. Maximum is 12, what I am going to do it, maximum 10 and major 1 unit. Earlier it was 2 units, okay. And here minor, if I want to, I can in, uh, do this one as well. So, now it is front of you. Now, the another option, I want to make it, uh, you know, uh, ascending order. Just reverse this option and now it is reversed. Okay, minimum 1. Now, you can see it here, I started from the 1, minimum 1 and maximum 10. So, the next thing what you will do, just click on this dot, go to plus sign and select error bars and from the error bars, just remove this vertex, this one. Now, I am going to remove these lines as well by selecting and now, I am just going to click it here anywhere and come here on the chart. You can select from here as well, okay. Now you can see what I did it. I selected the task series x bar and it is showing me this one. I will add the plus sign, no cap and for the duration what I will do it, I will select custom, specify the value and from here what I will do, I will select these working days, okay. Now, it is there, okay. Now, just make it little bit width increase. I will go to change the color as well and you can see here this blue dot is available. What you need to do it, just come here on the marker, no fill and no line. Now, you can see it here, no fill and no color, okay. X axis, okay. This is that one now available with you. Now, what I will do it? I want to remove these grid lines, just come the page layout, okay, and remove these. The next thing, I just highlight this one, go to format, fill shape, no fill, outline, no. You can see here, all my information is available here now, what I am going to do it next, I am just going to copy these tasks and paste it here as a link. This one, copy, paste, link. The paste link function, if any change is here in this data, it will automatically appear here. Now, I am going to remove this and now, you can see it here. In data, I am just going to press it little bit so that it will appear here in their sections. See now, 
I will just little bit move it this one here. Now you can see the date function as well, it is not uh, matching as per our, uh, our data. There is some gap here, okay. What it is, uh, it is very easy, every date is having a number. What you need to do it, you will just click here and click on the number as well here the same, the last date, number and just click it here and come here on the x axis option and just put 397 the same number start date and end date will be double four five two five five two five. Now what you do just click change the date format and it is there now you can see our lines and everything it is appearing as per our requirements now. This is very easy, you can try it, uh, it is not that difficult, uh, it is very easy and it is uh, uh, you know presentation wise it is excellent. Uh, even though you can change the uh, here options, uh, if you want uh, some trend lines, legends, grid lines, if you need data labels, you can insert them again. Uh, title of x axis, uh, x axis is there, okay. Now I am going to just make this name and I will put it here and I will fill the back side this option and now you can see it. This is my chart even though I can choose any of the color, okay. So this is the chart. Thank you very much.